Hey everyone, so the Monster Hunter Wilds beta came out this past month and I got the pleasure of playing it on stream and I gotta say, it was, it was pretty damn fun. Uh, this video is not going to be much in depth as I played once on stream and a few times when I had some downtime off stream and for context, I streamed pretty much all of Monster Hunter World on stream uh, for the past year, uh, I've done some raids on it. I played Monster Hunter Gen Ultimate, played for you and some through you as well. So I'm a big fan of the series and it's been amazing to see other people jump into the series as well. Uh, seeing other content creators reaction to the weapon reveals, the leaks, the trailers has been kind of like fueling and fulfilling for me because before World, it was really hard to grab someone to play for you on a 3DS and most people were really not into Monster Hunter before World and the World really uh, like brought like a lot of people in so I'm super excited to like share like my ideas about this right now. First off the character creator tool was actually pretty cool to begin with. I was there for at least 40 minutes making my own character. Uh, there were actually some pretty diverse unique hairstyle options and I don't know if this is true or not but I've been told that your character design can move on to the full game on release if you played the beta or how far you made it into the story which I'm skeptical about because this is a beta and things can still change and I don't know if certain hairstyles are going to look the same or not they're going to move on over or some of the details but maybe COVID did I don't know that's what I've been told but the story actually seems pretty interesting um and all of the characters have some pretty dope designs in the past two games capcom really tried to have a story narrative on reasons why we are hunting but this one being shrouded in mystery and why we are protecting some people and why exploring is different but it's refreshing uh, i never really needed a reason why i'm hunting in this series but i'm not opposed to having one like i do like how the transition from cutscenes to hunts is smooth and natural in a way, it feels like I, like I can play the game by myself and it feels like a single player experience game. But I'm curious to see where the story goes because the beta ends pretty abruptly. Like, I think you only do two hunts story-wise. But hey, we finally get to hear our hunter talk after like, what, like 20 years. So I'm excited about that. Uh, so the gameplay feels very similar to a world. Um, if you like how world feels, you're definitely going to like this for sure. But it is definitely faster and smoother, which is one of my critiques of world is that the game is clunky. Wolf was very clunky. And I think this solved when looking at Rise and seeing how fast Rise was and adding some moves that you'd be able to cancel out of and the animations that we used to be hard locked into as well. And the Clutch Claw is back. The Clutch Claw is back, but it is different. It's not, um, you don't have to really like aim pull the trigger, load it in as much it, it's not as in the hard as it used to it used to be like a huge learning curve for a lot of beginners was the clutch claw mechanic but it seems super easy like to um to use it you really just aim not really just press the b button or the circle button right um just to use it but there was a new mechanic in game called focus mode uh so focus mode helps highlight parts of the monster you've done a lot of damage to and even weak points on the monster so you can use special attacks called Fo focus strikes to do extra damage to these spots and it also works on wounds created it was actually pretty cool while having it like there's some pretty cool abilities like we saw for the long sword and for like sword and shield that i used it was actually pretty dope but my first time that in the tutorial fight it felt a bit hard to aim and to hit the monster in that focus part of that weak spot um it took a while but it definitely got easier after i played more and more of it i will say that some weapons will need more assistance to hit these parts than others because if some parts for like long sword kind of hard to aim versus sword and shield and versus like hammer for example because i kind of taste test a lot of them during my own time but i played long sword for the duration of my experience and that's what you're going to see on the footage that's why i played on the stream and not gonna lie that shit was tight it was it was dope like using extra spear gauge maybe to make the helm splitter use more hits and hit focus parts was pretty cool and it really helped really just get that DPS going. Um, but my chat had to tell me about this like mechanic. The game didn't, didn't tell me, which is really interesting, which tells me that there are probably more secrets to each weapon that we may not even know about until the game comes out or like other changes that's gonna happen. Um, and then I have to talk about the map because it was massive and interactive. The map UI was really cool. I really liked it. 10 out of 10, if they change it, I'm, I won't be upset, but I really like how it is in the beta. 
I like how you're able to twist and turn the map and see different parts of where you can explore. Also, there may be multiple monsters that you're hunting of the same monster. Like for example, like you're hunting a Vathalos. There may be like four different Vathalos on the map that you may be hunting, it's not just one. And you can paintball the one that you're hunting so you can keep track of it. It makes you feel like the world is bigger than just you, that one monster, because sometimes in the other games it's just that single monster and you on the map and maybe some other monsters but like that's it but this time it's like a whole ecosystem which is really cool uh i would say it was super funny that we couldn't even have our own private lobbies doing the beta but it made me feel like i was playing like an mmo because the lobbies were massive like i think after my story was complete quote unquote complete done um you can do open world and my lobby had like 40 people at one point but it was, I actually I was I was down for it. It made the game feel like an MMO and more inclusive to being a multiplayer game. And I would go out in the hunt and I would see people like jumping and help me doing it. So it made me feel like I was part of a guild for once and not like this chosen single player hunter that the Capcom kind of leans on for a bit for the story. And it made me feel like, yeah, I was like, these are other hunters and I'm part of the, well, part of the guild just trying to hunt together. Yeah, I like that a lot. I may start doing more open lobbies or joined open lobbies. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But hey, those are my thoughts on the beta. Please let me know what you thought of the beta and what you are excited for about the game in the comment section below. Um, I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be jumping on day one. I hope to see you guys all there. This was Mito Kage, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is my canonical moment. Oh, yo, yo, okay, that's it. I'm grabbing my Saiyan Pride. Guys, it's been replay that. I'm gonna show you why they give me the name Kage.